Anxiety and mean people. So this topic came from a viewer uh, and I really appreciate it because this is a topic that I think affects a lot of people and probably you. Uh, so let, let me just kind of flesh out the scenario, scenario here. Uh, so you have anxiety, maybe it's social anxiety and you muster up the courage to go out or to talk to somebody and that person is mean to you. And what does that do? It makes things worse, doesn't it? So you already have the anxiety and someone's mean to you. They say, say something that really is hurtful or they ignore you, which is hurtful, or they just don't realize that they're being mean, or maybe they do intentionally are trying to be mean, but yet internally, if you already have the anxiety, it's killing you. It's making, it's almost convincing you, see, I should not have risked that. And then it prevents you from doing something else or taking another risk of being with other people. And so when you have anxiety and combine that with mean, a person that's mean to you, it really starts to convince you. Your anxiety starts to convince you that you're worthless, that no one likes you, and you are a, a bad person. That's not the truth. That's not reality. That might be what your anxiety is saying, but that's not what is true. So you have to, first of all, you have to, you have to come to a place in your own heart and in your own mind that you don't accept what the anxiety is trying to make you believe. You're not going to accept that you're a bad person because you feel hurt. No, you don't accept that. You are a person who deserves respect and dignity and trust and love and appreciation and validation for how you feel. And when someone is in your life who's mean to you, that's on them, not you. But it's really hard to, to understand that and believe that in a moment, isn't it? It's hard to believe the truth that when someone's mean to you, it's their issue, not your own. That's hard to do. In fact, I would love for you to comment below uh, in the comments of what do you do when your anxiety is high and you meet somebody that's mean to you or somebody either that you know or that you don't know, a complete stranger is mean to you and you already have anxiety or even depression. How does that make you feel? And then what do you do? Do you shut down and retreat? and withdraw from the world? Do you fight back and say, you're not gonna do this and I'm gonna fight you back. Oh yeah, I'm gonna throw it, throw it back at him. Or do you do a certain something else? How do you uh, respond in that situation? Here's what I would encourage you to respond. I would encourage you to respond in a way that is assertive, meaning that you'll stand up for how you feel, you acknowledge how you feel to that person or people that were mean to you, you tell them that it hurt your feelings, but you're not gonna let what they said or did or didn't do or didn't say affect you. So on one hand, you stand up for how you feel without fighting, without throwing it back at them. You assert your feeling, I feel or I felt this way when you said this, I felt disrespected, I felt hurt, whatever, however you're feeling and you let them know respectfully without throwing it back at them, without being angry back, because you don't want to model what you don't like. So don't reflect back their negative behavior. You want to model the appropriate behavior. And then is even if you're hurt inside, you want to be respectful on the outside. So it's okay to say what you said hurt me. And you can just leave it at that. Or you can go further and say what you did or what you said really hurt me, but I want to choose not to give in to that. I'm going to choose to give you the benefit of the doubt that you did not mean to hurt me. Or maybe they did mean to hurt you. And, and then, then you have to say, I'm going to choose not to let what you said affect me. I have to be responsible for my own actions and how what I do, my own behavior, you have to be responsible for yours. So if you have anxiety and someone's mean to you, you can't prevent that person from being mean, but you can work on and prevent how that person's being mean, their meanness 
is affecting you inside. And you might have to really wrestle with this. You might have to really think through and process how you're going to respond to that mean person. And maybe it's you don't say anything. Maybe you ignore them. That's a possibility. But if it's a loved one, a family member, or someone that you have a relationship with, then you're going to have to address it at some point. So you want to make sure you're calm, cool, and collected, and you address it in a, in a, in a respectful way and stand up for how you feel. So I hope that makes sense, right? I hope that makes sense. Okay, well, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to spend uh, the rest of my day in my vacation on a lake in Michigan. Uh, so if you've been watching my videos, I've been trying to put up a video every day during my, my vacation. Uh, but I wanted to uh, allow this to be an encouragement to you. Well, tech, someone's coming in right there. Bye.